Last week, we learned about clothes in Spanish. So I was thinking, okay, they already know some names of clothes in Spanish. How about if now we go shopping? Yeah, because that's very normal in very necessary. So let's go shopping and learn some, okay, here we go. Some phrases, I'm sorry for it. I don't know what happened. Okay. Um, some phrases that we can use. Okay. So normally, if you go shopping with someone else, you can say, oh, look at that dress, or look at that pan those pants. Well, in Spanish, we use a similar expression with when something and it's very interesting for us. For example, you can say, mira esa blusa. Hey, mira esa blusa. Um, Pito, you want to repeat, please? Mira esa blusa. Yeah, good job. Mm -hmm. So the meaning is, look at that blouse. Okay, mira esa blusa. And then you can ask the another person, to the other person, ¿Te gusta? Do you like it? ¿Te gusta? Okay, all at while. Uh, I'm sorry. Ole <laughs> Um, Can you repeat the question, please? ¿Te gusta? Good job. So then you can ask, ¿Cuál es tu talla? Because maybe the dress or the blouse is very, very beautiful, but we need to know the size, right? So the question, ¿Cuál es tu talla? means, what is your size? Okay? ¿Cuál es tu talla? And then the person can tell you something like, mi talla es. And here we don't have the that phrase, but I'm going to write it now, okay? So we can say something like, mi talla es. I don't know where you live, the, the, the way that you say your size, but here in Mexico, we have three, normally three, obviously, uh, we have like six, something like that, but three is normal. Three and um, first one is S. S. S means a size that is small, a small size. Okay. The second size that we have in Mexico is um, M. 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 That means medium size. And the last one that we have here is L, L, large. So for example, in my case, mi talla es M, mi talla es M, because I need to use a medium size, okay? So let's ask, uh, let's see, we have Claudette. If I ask you, ¿cuál es tu talla? How would you answer me? ¿Cómo me respondería? Mi talla es L, L, L. Good job, good job. <laughs> How about now, Pitches? ¿Cuál es tu talla? Mi talla mm -hmm. es large, I mean, la, um, L. Say again? L. L. Yeah. We tell it is L. Yeah, good job, good job. So now um, you want to to um, to try it on, to try the dress or the blouse on. And the another person can ask you something like this. Te viene? Okay, you imagine that now you have the dress or the blouse, okay? And another person asks you, 
se viene. What do you think that means? Because literally, that is a question that you are going to hear everywhere in a shopping uh, um, store, clothing store. In high here in Mexico, it's like the normal question that we are going to hear. If you see a mother and a daughter, normally the mother always asks, ¿Te viene? Even my mother. So, okay, Oletiwi, tell me. Could it mean, does it fit? Could you repeat, please? Could it mean, does the blouse fit? Mm, yeah, that is the meaning. Yeah, um, the question is uh, something like, does it fit you? Okay. And here is something is interesting. And I'm going to explain something with this bird. You see this bird? Um, viene. So if you translate this word uh, to Spanish, you are not going to understand the question because actually the verb viene, venir, is to come. And in English, if you use the comb talking about clothing, doesn't have any sense. But in Spanish, it has. So always remember that a new language means new things, okay? So in Spanish, we use the verb to comb, venir, when we are talking about clothes. Then, te viene. And another question that you can use is, te queda bien? Te queda bien is the same meaning, okay? Does it fit you? You have two options. Te viene o te queda bien? Who wants to try? Let's see, Vivian. Do you want to repeat the questions, please? Um... I was muted, so. Can you repeat the question, please? Yeah, te viene? Yeah, and another one? Uh, I can't think of another one. I can't think of another one. Te queda bien? Which one is that again? Te queda bien? Uh, I... Don't, it's I don't right have, up under it. It's right up under it. Okay, because I can't get it to go on. I can't. I can't get it to come come up further. Really, you can see it. Yeah, I can only see um up to te te viene, but I can't see under that one. How about you, bitches? You can can you see all the page? I can see all the page. Oh, okay. Um. Well, thank you for the first question, Vivian. Okay. okay, I'm going to give you another opportunity later, okay? Okay, all right, okay. Uh, how about Laurel? ¿Cómo estás? Laurel, ¿cómo estás? Todo bien, ¿y tú? Ex estoy excelente, perdón. Okay, Laurel, can you repeat this question, please? ¿Te quiero bien? Good job. So now... You should answer. Okay, Peaches? It sounds like it has an R in it. It, it, it like, is it Takeda or Takeda? I mean, how do you say that again? Because it sounds like I'm hearing an R. No, Takeda. Te? Takeda te bien. Takeda bien. Okay. Te queda bien. Only try the intonation. Because if you say Takeda bien, in Spanish, that is an affirmation. But if you say, te queda bien, then it's a question. And it's something very interesting because in English, you need to, to use the auxiliary, does or do. But in, but in Spanish, no. We only need to change the intonation, okay? So yes. try again, try it again. Can you ask the question again? Uh, te queda bien? Take it yeah, up. good job. That's a question. 
Okay, so now let's answer that. The first phrase is C. Sí, me gusta como me veo. Yes, I like it or I like how I look. How I look like, you know. Um, and the another one is no. No me gusta mucho. So, uh, let's see here. I remember that someone is, I can see your name. Kim, can you help me please? With, I, I think it's Caprin, right? Okay, Caprin, yeah. Can you try to read the two phrases please? Could I try to read one? To read the two phrases. Ah, me said, me gusta como me, me veo. And the no, second? me gusta mucho. Okay, good job. So now we already have some phrases, some questions, questions that we can use when we go shopping. So it's time to practice. Let's start with Pido. Okay, I'm going to show you um, a quote and you are going to tell me if you like it or not, okay? Uh, let's see, this one. Mira esta blusa, Pito, mira esta blusa, ¿te gusta? Um, no. No, okay, no, good. me gusto, I forgot the last word. <laughs> well, the another phrase is, no me gusta mucho. Yes, yes. I was looking for that word. <laughs> no me gusta mucho, okay, don't worry. So now, um, Oletilui. Oletilui, mira este pantalón. ¿Te gusta? No, gusta mucho. Good job, good job. Okay, um, who is Katie? Katie, oh, I know, I remember her. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so Katie, now imagine that you have I don't know. Mm, a beautiful ring. Okay? You have a beautiful ring. And then I'm going to ask you. Oye, Katie, ¿y te queda bien? Because even if we are talking about a ring, um, if you remember, rings have um, different size. So, Katie, ¿te queda bien? Oh, uh, can you hear us? Yeah, I don't think she can hear. Okay, let's try later. Caprin, mm -hmm. um, imagine that you have a beautiful dress. And I'm going to ask you, ¿te queda bien? ¿Te gusta? Um. So I have to give me the size. That means huh? you're asking me what size, right? No, actually, no. What you, I okay. ask you if te queda bien. Does it fit you? Okay. Okay. So I say, no me gusta mucho. Oh, okay. It's okay. Maybe you prefer another clothes. Uh, let's see, teacher. You have a new blouse. Okay. And I'm going to ask you, ¿te gusta? Me gusto como me veo. Ay, eso es bueno, that's good. But, ¿te viene? Oh, uh, oui. Oui. Uh, sí. Sí. Viene, viene bien. Okay, bien. Uh, do you want to tell us something? Yes, yeah, so obviously when you say to get a bien, I would, I would say C, si. yes. But then how would I say yes, it does fit me? 
Okay. Your question is how I say yes, it fits me? Yes. Oh, okay, that's easy. Uh, okay, here. Mm, let me see if I can move this. And then I can write. Okay. Si me queda bien. Oh, okay. Si me queda bien. Or another option that we have is si me viene bien. Me viene bien. Again, the verb venir to come. But in Spanish, we use this for come. So if you say, si, me viene bien, it means, yes, it fits me well. Okay? Okay. Thank you. Well, everyone, that's today's class. Okay. Yeah, the class is already done. <laughs> I was so happy and I am so happy to see you all here and I hope you learned something, okay? And try to practice every day. For example, for example, Pito, you can practice practice with Ole Tilby. You can ask him something about his clothes. And same, Ole Tilby, you can ask Pito. Um, Claudette, Caprine, Peaches, Vivian, Laurel, you can ask um, another person that, even if you meet someone um, in the market, you can ask them. Be careful, but you can ask them. Okay.